My name is Gita, and today I'll be showing you a simple science experiment about density. For this experiment, you'll need one bucket, bowl, or bathtub filled with water. If you're using a bathtub, you only need to fill it about six inches high. You'll also need three six inch squares of aluminum foil. You also need scissors, a ruler, and 20 coins of equal weight. This can be 20 pennies, 20 quarters, or something else. You may need an adult's help with cutting the foil squares or with filling the bucket or bowl of water. First, use a ruler to measure and cut out three six inch squares of aluminum foil. Second, use one foil square to tightly wrap up 10 of your coins. If the foil tears, cut a new square. You do not want water to enter your bowl. Fold up the four sides of your second square of foil, forming a boat. Hold the edges tightly to avoid leaks. Place the remaining 10 coins in the boat. Fifth, place the ball and the boat of coins into your water. What happened to the foil that was wrapped up, and what happened to the foil that was shaped like a boat? Could the boat stay on the water without sinking? If so, how many more coins could it hold? Try adding them one by one to your boat. Use the remaining foil square to make a boat with a different shape. Do you want higher or lower sides? What about a canoe shape? A triangle? Be creative. After you've made your boat, put it in the water and add coins one by one. How many coins can your new boat hold? So, why did one boat sink while the other did not? Well, aluminum foil when rolled out flat is less dense than water. Coins are denser than water. Density refers to an object's volume, which is how much space it takes up, in relation to its mass, which is how much matter it has. When an object is less dense than water, it will float. When it's denser, it will sink. The 10 coin and the 6 inch aluminum square have the same mass no matter what shape they're in. However, when you wrap up the coins in a ball, it has a smaller volume because it takes up less space, versus when it's in a boat, it takes up more space and it has greater volume. Because the boat has greater volume, it becomes less dense than the water and it's able to float. However, the wrapped coins take up less space and are more dense, so they end up sinking beneath the water. Did your boat sink? If so, why did it sink? How can you make it better? Do you think it's easier for humans to float on water when we breathe in and our lungs are full of air or when we breathe out? Thank you for joining me in this science experiment. For more density fun, click the link below.